and go. Hey, good morning. Uh, it's Nadi, and this is the Daily Espresso Short Shots of Big Ideas. Um, about to don the jacket again as we um, come down to colder climate, even though it's only about like a couple of degrees. Um, here at Oscar Mike, is that uh, Apple I've got, I've got, I've got Australian. Oscar, Oscar Mike, Oscar Mike, back in Hawthorne, back in our um, our home uh, hometown, uh, and um, yeah, in the, in, the, in the street smart alley location. Um, coming off the back of uh, last week and the last couple of days, and the um, the big work that we did on our own accountability through our mastermind group. Um, and watch those vids if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about. We're going to talk about accountability today. We're going to talk about why you need that in your business, irrespective of the size of the business that you are. Um, Chris, we're going to throw to you for a question yeah. that's come through. Yeah, we had one from Jess. She said she's been in business around three years, and last year she found that like, it was the first year she didn't really grow. Um, so she's really, I guess, after what she needs to do and how she can you know, get back to those growth targets and uh, maybe the first and number one tip that you've got um, for people who have been in business but maybe have just hit a bit of a ceiling. All right, cool, let's walk and talk. Um, um, do you wanna, do you wanna, are you gonna flick it around or are you gonna, are you gonna do all right. this? Because this is, uh, this is the, I'm, we're, not, we're, not, we're not gonna rove, we're not gonna rove. Maybe, gonna, we, won't, maybe we won't walk into it. Maybe we won't walk into it. Just talk. get to the point, short right. shots of big business ideas. R- really, really simple, so yeah, if you're, just, the, I'd, I'd say, look, look at the last videos that we, we filmed um, Thursday, Friday last week, um, because we're coming to, well, you know, we were speaking based on our own experience and where we are currently at. Um, what you're gonna find in any business is when you start, you know, you've gone through your business plan, you've put a lot of effort into it, you kind of, you know, you've planned out the next couple of years, you've probably planned a bit further out, but sometimes it's just too hard to hit the nail on the head with respect to, um, uh, to getting it right, you know that the time horizon is longer and, and more things can, can sort of change in that period. So probably the, the you know the first two years have been really good uh, and almost gone to plan. Why you're you know you're running on hype, um, everything's going fantastically well for you. Uh, people are excited and interested to uh, work with you. Um, people are excited and interested to get on board with you, and you, you know you're the you're the flavor of the uh, the time, right? Flavor of the time. Um, and then fast forward, you know, that two years down the track or the third year, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're no longer the flavor of the month. Um, you may have said or done things that didn't eventuate, things you may have planned for didn't eventuate, there may have been new competitors in the market that have come about, whatever. My point is that you, you probably didn't get the chance to plan that far out, and even if you did, it didn't happen. Now. Um, the other one there is why you're probably feeling that you, you're not growing. This is the first year that you haven't been able to run off that hype and, and, and smash stuff out. It's purely because you've just probably run out of ideas or you're just now neck deep into um, you know, the life of a, of a business owner with a lot more responsibility. Now, we could all be great at what we do in terms of business owners, but what sometimes we're not great at doing is, um, is holding ourselves accountable. And it doesn't matter who you are, right? There are probably some 1% superstars or even under that, that are unbelievably great at holding themselves accountable. Me personally, I'm not, and I use a number of tools and people and groups for that. Um, Chris is, is an accountability partner of myself. My wife's an accountability on a personal level of myself. My mastermind group's an accountability group for me as a business, all right, and for me in business. Um, and you know, you could have forums, that sort of stuff. So they're the things that you need to implement in your business, or you're just going to find that you will not grow to your next level. You, um, you know, you, you you can't make accountability pledges to yourself. You can try, but what will very quickly happen is, you know, you, you'll, you'll make it, you'll write it down, it'll go somewhere. It doesn't matter if it's an app on your phone, written on the back of an envelope you'll forget about it. If you've got someone there that holds you accountable on a particular date, um, you know, you're required to front up and say, I either did it or I didn't, I won or I lost, and why not, and why, then there's never any the accountability and you need to take your business to that next level. And that's what you need in your business, and if you implement that, you're gonna find that you're gonna take it to the next level. Now, there's a number of different ways. Like I said, if you tune in last week, we spoke about our mastermind group, that's one level of group accountability that you'll find is really cool. If your turnover is over a certain limit, you can qualify for entrepreneur's organization, um, uh, EO, 
you know, get involved in that. That's an amazing uh, level of accountability and, and, and learning and education. And different uh, mastermind groups like what we've got, which is industry specific, um, that's also a great one. Uh, there are Facebook groups out there, uh, Cafe Entrepreneurs in Melbourne, for example, you know, a bit of a plug for us. Um, there's another level of accountability there. Uh, and then the other one, one-on-one -on -one accountability. So, you know, every uh, athlete needs accountability through a training coach uh, and a trainer. Um, you know, personal trainers are just as one things for people that want to lose weight, for example, or gain weight, or train for that next marathon. Uh, I think I probably need one, uh, Chris, for my uh, 10K run coming up in October. Um, and that's where it comes into business, engaging people like ourselves, who are, who are very good at um, coaching and advising at the same time, uh, as, as someone in, in your business that keeps you accountable on a monthly level. All right, uh, Jess, I hope you get a lot of value out of what just uh, went out. Um, hit us up with a, a, another comment and a question. And guys, if you've got issues with accountability in your business and you feel that you're stagnating and just not growing, let us know and um, we're happy to throw some tips your way. If you want to know how to structure an, a mastermind group, how to run one um, and, and where to look for to join one, more than happy to um, give you some tips and pointers on that. Hit us up. Guys, this is Daily Special. Short shots of big business ideas. Have a great day. Happy Monday.